And yes, the Prodigal Tour is coming real soon. In fact, on Thursday, September 29th, the Prodigal Tour featuring the Sidewalk Prophets will be down in Harrisburg, Illinois, at Little Chapel Church. And we're pleased this morning to have on the phone with us the lead singer for the Sidewalk Prophets, and that is Dave Fry. Good morning, Dave. How are you? Good morning. Doing excellent. Great to have you here this morning on the Vine, and we are so much looking forward to having the Sidewalk Prophets with us again in southern Illinois. We were just sitting around talking about yesterday the fact that we had the Sidewalk Prophets here with us. Uh, it's been about two and a half, three years ago when you were part of the Into the Light Tour with Matthew West. We had you in yeah. concert over at Mount Vernon. Remember that? Yeah, I do. I do. I love that, too. I love Matthew. I was just talking about him yesterday, how much of a, how much he walks the walk. And, and yeah, his, that tour was one where... Uh, we just had a blast. We got to kind of, uh, it was him and Jason Castro, and, and uh, man, we, yeah, we, we love, we love Southern Illinois. I love going down there and uh, Carbondale and Saluki country and mm-hmm. over Mount Vernon, and, and uh, I, 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 uh, I grew up in Indiana, not too far away from right. Southern Illinois, over in Terre Haute, so uh, it feels like, it feels like a little bit like home there, for sure, so yeah. we're excited to be going back. Well, and when we think about how much music you've come out with just since that time, I mean, there's been a lot of yeah. things happened with the Sidewalk Profits in that right. last three years or so, and, and it's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. The journey God keeps us going. As, that's what I say. I'll, we'll keep on going until God says stop, and so far he's just been opening door after door, and, and uh, it's been an amazing journey, that's for sure. Well, your latest CD is called Something Different, and of course it features a hit single, Prodigal, which we're going to play here in just a little while. But uh, talk about the Prodigal Tour and how different this concert event is because it's very up close and personal, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We we are going to have a whole lot of fun. It's, it is it is kind of a shrouded and secret tour. Uh, you know, I, we we wanted to let people know that we want to have uh, have an experience like they've never had before at a concert. Just uh, we want it to be exciting. We want to tell a story. Uh, we have uh, movie moments that we're going to interweave. We actually shot a short film to go along with the tour, mm. and so we're going to weave a story alongside uh, the music that you love. Well, plenty of music, of course, too, but uh, we wanted to make it an experience, like really transport people somewhere. And so we're really excited uh, about that and, and, and in hopes that uh, people will show up and, and be changed and the Lord will move. And I think that's the key to all of it is, is we want you to, to leave knowing uh, how deeply loved you are by Jesus and, and full of that, that excitement, that passion to go out and just let people know how how much how deeply loved they are. Well, that is very exciting. I know you just returned back from California, where you had the tour out there. How did everything go out west? It was it was all right. It was a good day. Uh, I actually got engaged out in California too. Oh, <laughs> so, well, congratulations! Yeah, a, thank you. It was I was I was being facetious when I said it was okay. It was amazing. <laughs> we had a we had amazing sunshine and and then uh, yeah, my uh, my fiance and I had we had a great day and. Uh, Malibu is an all right place to uh, to pop the question. That's for sure. Well, so, that's and we're all grateful right. for our promoters out in California that brought us out there. And and uh, yeah, Harmony, my girlfriend, came out and did the merch merchandise for us, and then we yeah. uh, surprised her pretty good. So, oh, well, I love that name, name, Harmony. That is a great I name know. for a girl, especially for a musician too. That's right. That's <laughs> right. She she doesn't sing very she very much, but uh, but that's okay. Oh, <laughs> so I love her. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Well, let's go back uh, real quickly, if we can, to the early days of the Sidewalk Prophets, because you guys have been together for quite a while, and you got started while uh, you were actually attending Anderson University. Uh, you and and uh, your guitar player, Ben McDonald, you guys yeah. met there while attending a college there together, and it's kind of interesting how you got started, and I guess somebody took one of your, your songs, a demo that you recorded without your knowledge, and entered into yeah. some kind of a recording contest, and boy, a lot of doors started to open after that, didn't it? Yeah, we. I mean, God was there the whole time. That's that's it. Like I thought of singing and music as a hobby, you know, something I love to do for fun. But but God had other plans. I'm so grateful He did. Yeah, our friend uh, she Sarah she she turned it into the student led record label that they were starting at Anderson, which is it's a cool concept, a cool idea, and it's still going on today. And we were blessed to get to go to the Gaither Studios. We won the contest uh, and got to record our first project over with Bill, Bill and Gloria Gaither Studios out in Alexandria, Indiana. And, and then we got to come back and, uh, you know, have a, a finished product, a finished CD. Uh, and not a lot of college bands can say that. They have, like, a professionally done CD. It was really, really fun. Mm-hmm. And then and then we realized, hey, this is more than just a hot. Maybe, we, maybe if God keeps opening these doors and closing 
closing others, maybe we should try. And we we decided to move to Nashville and put an ad on Craigslist because it was just Ben and I. Uh, the, the rest of the band that was with us had to stay, and they were either getting married or going down other paths. But when we moved to Nashville, we put an ad on Craigslist. And, uh, you know, who wants to be poor and worship Jesus is the basic gist. <laughs> and and our, our, uh, our bass player and drummer uh, of nine and a half years answered the call. And it was just so... Talk about God's hand on everything, from Craigslist ad to the mm. girls turning in our CD without us knowing. And like, yeah. I mean, it just was like, it was like, it, it, you step back and you look at it all, and you're like, wow, like what an intricate pattern God wove just to get me to where I am today. And mm-hmm. it makes me feel joyful that He loves me, but it also makes me feel like, man, I got a responsibility to let people know how good our God is. Well, you know, we read in his word, it says a little is much when God is in it. And then but there you go. You know, you start with very little, just the two of you, and look where it's taking you now. That's right. That's right. It's pretty amazing. It amazing. Yeah, you go back uh, to some of the hits that you've had, and you guys have had a lot of uh, top ten hits, <laughs> and including a yeah. number one. I mean, you've got... Uh, uh, you love me anyway. The words I would say. You can have yeah. me. Uh, live like that. And then, of course, now prodigal. Uh, it's just been amazing to see what God has done in your ministry. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. You know, I, I never expected. Our, our dream was to have a song on the radio. You know, when you're a kid, you're like, oh, I'd love to hear that. And now, thanks to you guys and your ministry and what you're doing here, I mean, we just keep you know keep hearing our songs on the radio. And and it's not. It's it's. Man, I, I you know I don't want to come off as as uh, as prideful at all because it's humbling. It makes you realize, holy holy cow, like this is my dream come true, and like God still keeps on giving giving me more opportunity to let His name be heard. Mm-hmm. And so that's what our goal is. I mean, now that we you know you re- reach that that little selfish goal of hearing your song on the radio, God says, now what? You know, now that you now that you've reached this pinnacle. Is that it? Is that all you're going to do in my name? Are you going to do more? And mm-hmm. I love that. I love that about our God that he challenges us. He continues to refine us. And so, man, thank you, mm-hmm. you know, you and your ministry there at the Vine for, for allowing us the opportunity to uh, reach people's lives for Jesus, because it's, it's a powerful thing. Well, and you've had some great platforms that you've been able to participate in, including the Rock and yeah. Worship Road Show. You were on that with Mercy Me and Francesca yeah. Battistelli. You've toured with Jeremy Camp. Of course, you toured with Matthew West, as we mentioned earlier. And so you've had some yeah. great opportunities along the way. My dream, I, I, the, other, the other selfish dream when I was a kid, I wanted to tour with DC Talk. Mm-hmm. And now I've toured with Toby with Michael and Newsboys and with Kevin and Audio Drill. And so I got my news, I got my DC <laughs> talk and I was like, that's pretty cool. And I have all three of their numbers in my phone. So it's like, that is, that yeah. is a, a little, little Dave is like squealing and giggling every that time I look great. at and see, oh wow, I have uh, Michael Tate's number. Let me give him a ring. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, that leads me, all great guys. that yeah, is but, awesome. Well, that leads me to my next question. Who are some of the Christian artists who really influenced you? Mm-hmm. Obviously, the guys yeah. from DC Talk were, were one of them. Were there some others that, that did as well? Oh, hundreds. <laughs> you know, my, my favorites uh, growing up with DC Talk, but I love Newsboys, Audio Adrenaline, Jars of Clay, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Third Day, and uh, I, I think Rich Mullins and, and Sarah Grove, mm-hmm. those are two that really always spoke to me. Rich and Rich and Sarah both had such a way of painting pictures uh, that were so beautiful. And, and I felt like sometimes Rich Mullins wrote songs that were like, he stole right out of my heart. And same with Sarah. Like I would just like, did they, did they look at my, you know, my, my secret thoughts and then put them on paper? And so they always connected to me on a heart level. But, you know, I could go on and on and on, but those were, those were some of the top ones, man. I loved Newsboys concerts were, were, have always been some of the greatest moments where I can look back and remember. And, and uh, man, it just, yeah, it was an amazing, amazing journey. In fact, just yesterday I saw Phil Joel, who was in the Newsboys years yeah, ago, and he right. had that big old beautiful hair. And he stopped and he threw a rock at my window, and I, and I rolled my window down. I was like, Phil Joel just threw a rock at my window. And he goes, Dave, good to see you, buddy. And then he took <laughs> off. I mean, he literally was just trying to get my attention to say, hey. So I was like, Phil Joel remembers me. <laughs> he That's was so great. cool, man. That but is yeah, awesome. I love it. I love it. I'm blessed. I'm a blessed guy, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That is wonderful. Well, we want to play a song right now from your new CD called Something <laughs> Different. Then we want to come back and talk about it. So everybody crank up your radio right now. Here is the song Prodigal from the Sidewalk Prophets on 90.9 The Vine. Since 
you felt peace In the valley you made Where you're not meant to be Where the shame throws Shadows on you But don't you forget That you're headed to more But you settle for less Don't buy the lie It's as good as it gets The same feet that left you Lost and alone Are the very same feet That'll bring you back home Wherever you are Whatever you did It's a page in your That is the song Prodigal from the Sidewalk Prophets. That's from their latest CD, Something Different. And the Prodigal Tour is coming to Southern Illinois. That's right. We're going to be hosting them at Little Chapel Church in Harrisburg coming up real soon here on Thursday, September 29th. And the lead singer of the Sidewalk Prophets, Dave Fry, is with us right now this morning on The Vine. Dave, that is such a great song. All of us here at The Vine love that song, Prodigal. And, you know, the words in that song where it says, Wherever you are, whatever you did, it's a page in your book, but it isn't the end. Your father will meet you with arms open wide. This is where your heart belongs. Come running like a prodigal. What a great story and a great song oh, you have there. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, it stems, of course, from, from the prodigal story uh, that, that Jesus told. But, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times there's a lot to be learned from that little parable. Uh, you know, whether you're the brother that, that gets mad when the prodigal comes home or whether you're, you're the, uh, the prodigal itself. I mean, we've all been... Uh, Wasteful, that's what prodigal means. It means wasteful, and, and uh, you know, basically he takes that inheritance that his dad gives him and loses it instantly. And we've all been there where you know, God gives us something incredible and great, and we either are too lazy, we waste our time, we'd rather watch television, we'd, you know, we, we, we just, we, or, or we just completely get lost. And that's where the song came from was, was all the people that would come by our table, uh, our merchandise, or our, our signing line after the show, and they would say, hey, my, pray for my son, pray for my daughter. Uh, they're, they're lost right now. You know, and we're just praying that they come back to the Lord. And it's amazing, uh, even in my, my journey alone, uh, just to see how God pursues and, and is always there. And, and so that's the story of the prodigal. I mean, that father, when he saw his son a long way off, he didn't wait. He came running and threw that cloak around him and kissed him and told him, my son that was lost is now found. And I love that moment. 
but but our our call and rallying cry is for is to the lost. We hope that they hear that song and even if they've been wasteful, that they they raise their head up and they come running right back to Jesus because he's he's running right to them. So it's never ever too late. And that song gets you get know, you get that drum groove going and get that excitement going and. We hope that it can inspire people to do just that, to, to turn around and realize that God is, God's never left them, that he's always been there, and always, he's always pursuing us. So. Mm-hmm. Yes, he sure is. Again, tickets are still available for the concert on Thursday, September 29th at Little Chapel Church, an evening with the Sidewalk Prophets on the Prodigal Tour. You can get your tickets online through the Vine website at wvyn.org or get them at the church office. They're also available at Hope in a Future Christian Bookstore in Fairfield and at Daystar Christian Bookstore in Mount Vernon. Dave, if uh, somebody's listening to our interview right now here on the Vine and they're thinking about uh, whether or not they, they want to come to this concert or they've got maybe a, a, a friend or a coworker or a family member that they really would like to get to the concert, uh, yeah. what can you say to those people right now that would encourage them to come out to the concert on the 29th? You know, I really do think that this concert's going to be unlike anyone that you've ever seen. I think we're going to do things that will leave you smiling, uh, but I, and I also think it'll be just a just a good time to to lay down any burdens, anything you're going through. Uh, it, they're gonna it's gonna be addressed, but we're gonna we're gonna just transport you for for a couple hours to to a, a place where you can just you can just be free to worship. You can be free uh, to to just just take it all in, and that's our goal is is really just to to take care of people and to make sure that they know we're just like them and to, to play some songs that they might have heard. Some of them might not have heard any a, a single song of ours, and that's great because uh, it, it makes it all the more impactful, uh, especially when we you combine it with uh, the short film that we're doing. We just want to tell a great story and leave people's lives changed uh, by the love of Jesus Christ. And so I really encourage, especially those that are thinking of bringing somebody that maybe doesn't know the Lord that, that wouldn't normally come to a church, uh, they, they they might come to a concert, and so I encourage them to bring bring uh, their, those friends as well. Uh, and and it's a great way to to really uh, just introduce the gospel to friends to friends that don't know Jesus or somebody that is feeling lost. I really really pray uh, that people will just come out and, and experience it. All right. Well, Dave, thanks so much for joining us this morning on the Vine. It's been a pleasure to talk to you, and we really look forward to getting together with you and the rest of Sidewalk Prophets and enjoying a, a great evening of worship together here soon on Thursday, September 29th, okay? Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Really looking forward to getting back down to Southern Illinois, too. It's going to be an awesome, awesome time. All right. You take care, and, and thanks again, all right? Thanks. Okay. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. All righty. Bye-bye. That was Dave Fry, the lead singer of the Sidewalk Prophets. And again, we encourage you to come out to the concert on Thursday, September 29th. If you don't yet have tickets, there are standard reserve seat tickets available for $13 each and also VIP tickets available for $25 each. The VIP tickets allow you to sit in the first six rows, front and center. That's right, the first six rows, front and center. And reserve seats, like I say, otherwise are $13 in advance, 15 at the door. And if you've got a youth group or a Bible study group or a group of coworkers that would like to come out, any group of 12 people or more can get in for $10 each, okay, in advance, that is. So get your tickets today either at the church office in Harrisburg or at Daystar in Mount Vernon or at Hope in a Future Christian Bookstore in Fairfield or online You can buy tickets and print them off yourself right from our website at wvyn.org. Mark, thanks so much for giving us some time this morning on the Vine Morning Show here from Studio B, and we'll turn things back over to you on the Vine.